Whether you're a business or a person, it doesn't matter. Social media is king these days. Social media is extremely important as a way to represent yourself, represent your business, connect with other people, and the list just goes on and on. However, there is a way to do social media right and a way to do it wrong because you can either be not using it enough and not really representing yourself well, or you could be overusing it and you're just consuming all the time, wasting your time essentially, or you can find this nice happy medium, which is what I'm gonna be talking about today. Are you ready? Let's dive in. I'm Michael Dennis and I make videos about confidence, productivity, and happiness so you can get shit done and love every step of the way. Now if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you get these videos twice a week just like this. Now before we get into the topic of Instagram and social media and all that good stuff, I just want to say this Friday I'll be doing another live stream. I'm going to stick to that schedule of every two weeks, every second Friday or whatever. So be on the lookout for that. And the other little announcement I need to make is that I am shooting in front of the green screen for the first time ever because I just finished setting it up last week. So we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully it looks pretty good. And at the time of shooting this, I have no idea what I'm going to put back there. So even I'm surprised. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Instagram and social media. So one of the biggest traps that people fall into is they consume way too much. So they just go on, they scroll through their feed or the explore page or looking at their likes or whatever the case may be for hours. Consumption is important and I'll get to that in a second, but it can't be the only thing you do. Creating and posting on social media is actually super important. Once you start doing it, you'll see exactly why it can be so much fun and very helpful. A nice little rule of thumb I'm using right now is to always create at least as much as I consume. So if I'm going to spend half an hour a day consuming on Instagram, scrolling through the explore feed and through my own feed, then I have to spend at least half an hour creating. So thinking of a post, um, shooting it, editing it, captioning it, all that stuff. This way it kind of forces me out of my comfort zone of not posting because I'm so used to posting maybe once a month. Recently I've been doing a 30 day challenge that I made up myself where I post a video every, or not a video, a photo or video or whatever every single day for 30 days. And even me, who used to never ever post, I am loving it. I've missed a couple days, but I've made up for it. I've double posted a couple times, but I'm actually truly enjoying posting these, con this, <laughs> these contents. So still on the topic of consumption, you want to make sure that you are following only the accounts that really bring you some sort of value, whether it's inspiration, information, or entertainment. Even entertainment, that counts as value as long as it's something that makes you happy. You know, if cat videos make you happy, follow a bunch of cat video pages or whatever, and then scroll through your Instagram, you'll see them, it'll make you happy. I'd say that's a net positive. And the other reason why consumption is important is because if you're gonna be part of any community, and what I mean by this is if you're gonna post stuff about, let's say, music, or about mindfulness, or about whatever, it's really important that you actually know what's going on within that community and you listen first before speaking. One of the biggest benefits of doing this is that you can hop on trends. You can see what everybody's talking about at the time and be sure to talk about that and hashtag that so that more people see your posts. Now, if you really want to get ahead of the game in terms of trends, go to Google Trends and look up all the real-time searches. It shows you the top like 20 or so terms that are being searched right now and then make content about that. And okay, that just perfectly transitioned me into creation mode. So now we're done with consumption, time for creation. So as I mentioned, I'm doing a 30 day challenge where I post something on Instagram every day for 30 days. What I did was I essentially started to figure out the things that I like to talk about, post about, think about, etc. And I put those in my bio and narrowed it down to four categories, YouTube, mindfulness, fitness, and house and techno music, because those are pretty much the four main things that I like to do, think about, talk about, etc. So every single day I post something about one of those four categories. And so that leads me into the first of the three benefits that I believe there are from posting either every day or at least just more often than you're used to, which is it helps you know yourself better. Just a couple weeks ago, I finished doing a video on self-awareness where I talked about how important it is to really know yourself, know what you like to do, what your interests are, etc. So by posting every day, you start to realize exactly what it is that you like to talk about, what you like to post. For me, for example, right now, I'm finding it the easiest to post stuff about house and techno and about DJing and whatnot because that's what I'm most interested in right now. And as a little side note, it helps you not care so much what other people think about you, which is such an important thing in today's world. 
total. Because when you're posting every day, you know that you're just naturally not gonna get as many likes per photo. Because if you only post a photo once every month or so, and it's a really good photo, or it's from life event like a graduation or a wedding or something like that, then obviously you're gonna get a ton of likes. And that feels good at the time. When you first post it, you start getting all these likes, you love the validation, you're like, oh my god, all these people are liking my photo. But that's not a long-term strategy for happiness. What works much better from what I'm experiencing is posting stuff every day that you love to talk about, you love to post about, not caring at all how many likes you get or who likes it or whatever. Because this way you get to do what you love most of the time. Every time you're posting on Instagram, you're doing something you love. Whether for me it's DJing or working out or talking about YouTube or mindfulness or whatever the case may be. But anyway, let's move on to point number two, which is it forces you to be more creative. Now that you're under pressure to post something every day, you have to be thinking constant. Well, not constantly, but at least every once in a while you have to be thinking, okay, what can I post today? And when you have to do that, you end up creating way more stuff and way cooler stuff than you would if you weren't thinking about posting. So for example, you see on my Instagram here that I posted first a photo of just me explaining the challenge and then a video of me kind of um, DJing some bass music, mixing some music, and then a video of me at Club Space in Miami, more house and techno stuff, and then my valedic valedictorian speech, which I ended up doing a YouTube video about, and then fitness, and then my cat, which I kind of tied in with mindfulness and everything, and then some YouTube thumbnail photo shoots, basically, that I tried to do. And then my cat again, which this time, admittedly, there wasn't really a good reason for me to do that, but it was just really cute. And then my new DJ setup, which I just got over the weekend. Very excited about that. And lastly, a photo from exactly one year ago yesterday of a party that we had at my house, which again, doesn't really have much to do with anything. But basically, you come up with some really cool stuff. But that first cat post is the perfect example of how this makes you be more creative. Like, I was just trying to take a normal photo over here. My cat walked in, and I was like, okay, whatever, I'll take some photos with him. And then it turned out those were really cool photos. So then I decided to post them, but I was like, okay, well, how can I make this relevant? And then that made me be a little bit creative. I was like, oh, well, I'll tie it into spirituality because cats are super present and just all animals in general seem to be very present. They're in the present moment, which is admirable. And so I made a nice little caption about that and I thought it was a great post. And the last reason why I say you should be creating more on social media is because it provides so much more of an accurate representation of who you are and what you like. Most people, like myself before doing this challenge, you only post a photo every couple weeks or every month or whatever, and it's usually some big event and it's usually a pretty good picture. So it doesn't really paint a very accurate picture of your day-to-day -day life. It doesn't really show who you are. But when you have to post something pretty much every day about the things you care about, it makes it so much more relevant. Like now when I give out my Instagram, I feel pretty confident that whoever sees it is going to get a very good idea of who I am. And another way that you can look at this point that I'm making here is that it's almost like a really concrete example of the law of attraction. You attract whatever it is that you put out. So for example, for me, if I'm posting a bunch of content about house and techno music and putting hashtags on that, people are going to find my account who are DJs, who are producers, who like the music, and then they might follow me or I might even end up messaging them and make a good connection. This way you're constantly putting out whatever it is that you love to talk about and love to do, and then other people can see that and they, if they also love that type of stuff, they can join in and they can follow you and they can comment on your stuff and you guys can become friends or whatever you want to do. But either way, what I mean is that this way you are being extremely extremely real, you are being the realest version of yourself that you can be because you're posting the stuff that you do every day, the stuff that you love, and other people, if they like that, they can watch it, and if they don't like that, then they can unfollow you. So I think it goes without saying, but if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, go ahead and do that because honestly, right now I'm actually more excited about Instagram than I am about YouTube. But this is just because Instagram is about all my personal stuff, so my house and techno music, my fitness, my mindfulness, all these things that go kind of beyond the scope of this channel. So yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, do what you gotta do, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.